Welcome to the third of our three videos of worship for Sunday the 11th of July 2021. In this video we spend most of our time praying and it seems appropriate to begin with a prayer in a song. Father, I place into your hands the things that I can't do, that trouble me, that are on my mind, uh, that are too big for me to grapple with, but which are fitting subjects for you, the God and Father of all the creation, to deal with. Because you love us and you want us uh, to be happy in you. Father, I place. Our prayers today are led for us by Carol. As we come before God in prayer, let's still our minds and our thoughts and focus our attention and our senses upon the presence of God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence here with us now. Hear our prayers offered to you today as we pray for a broken world in desperate need of a Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we wait to hear the latest news about the Covid restrictions, Help us to prepare for whatever life will be like and to move forward safely and sensibly. You have taught us through this pandemic to love our neighbour and many people are looking out for each other and helping where they can. We pray that this will continue and that love and care and kindness will continue to grow in communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of justice, we pray for strength, hope, justice, mercy and peace for all who are suffering at the hands of others. Open the eyes of the prejudice, the persecutor, the hater, the power seeker. Make them see as you see that all human life is precious. We pray for all in government, in leaderships, and authority, both locally and throughout the world. Raise up leaders of integrity who will work for justice, peace and freedom. We pray for more believers in Christ, in politics, business, economics, finance, media and entertainment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator God, we thank you for our environment, for the parks and the green spaces. Help us to protect the environment and encourage others to do the same, so generations to come 
will look after the earth and enjoy its beauty. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we pray for our church here at St Luke's. Thank you for John and all our leaders who continue to provide spiritual guidance for us to grow. We pray for everyone who organises and assists in church. Bless them, Lord, for their commitment and dedication. Give us wise decisions as we come out of lockdown so we can make the gospel accessible to everyone in our community. Loving God, we lift to you all who are struggling with illness and with daily pain. And we name them now in the quietness of our hearts. Fill them with your healing and surround them with your everlasting arms. Loving God, for those who are coming to the end of their life on this earth, and those who have died and are now at peace. Be close to those who miss them and are grieving. Turn their mourning into dancing as they reflect and hold on to precious memories of those they love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, be with us through the coming week. Make us aware of your love and support in everything we do. Help us to faithfully live out the gospel. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect for the Sixth Sunday after Trinity Merciful God, you've prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts love towards you, that we may obtain all your promises through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please join us as we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And here's a hymn which is trying to put into song form the prayer of St Paul for the Ephesians at the end of this first chapter that we've been reading. All praise to you God, to you Father of Jesus.
And so may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and our minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.